All right, here it is. They call it the Lego Movie 2 Accessory Set, but we know what it really is. It's the Sewer Babies Pack, and that's all we care about here, so let's get this opened and take a look at the Sewer Babies. Right off the bat, I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm just going to be honest. This is not a good-looking Sewer Baby. I mean, it really doesn't look like a Sewer Baby at all. Maybe Sewer Babies live in here? I don't know. It just looks to me like a piece of a car with a crossbow and placement on the front of it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's a pretty decent looking piece of a car if that's what they're actually going for. But of course we know that they were actually going for a sewer baby. And uh, yeah, this just, it just doesn't cut it for me. I don't know why this is even here. It doesn't make sense. Now I was half tempted to really just tear into this thing, just tear it apart because it also looks nothing like a sewer baby to me. But then I got to thinking about it for a second. Maybe this actually is a sewer baby grown up. What if Emmett, in an alternate timeline, in an alternate dimension, was originally a sewer baby? Maybe he was the son of a post-apocalyptic Batman who had become the dictatorial leader of the sewer baby empire known as Apocalypseburg. What if Sharkira was his mom? Because this is Sharkira here, obviously not a sewer baby, although again, maybe she was originally a sewer baby. But uh, all I know for certain is that in the timeline we know, this is Sharkira, a character that we've already gotten a figure of once before, but that's okay. It's okay to get multiple of the same figure. This one has hair. The other one didn't instead actually had the thing that made her Sharkira. It would have been nice to get, you know, the helmet as well to get that additional nice printed visor piece, which I think is a cool thing. Actually, you know what? Forget about it. All that really matters are these sewer babies, because this is a sewer baby pack after all. Hmm. Why did they only give us two sewer babies in a sewer baby pack? Why did they give us all that other stuff? We didn't need all that other stuff. We just need more of these. Obviously, these have the exact same bodies with the same prints on them. No articulation for the arms there. Hmm. No knees. Hmm. At least you can turn the heads. The heads are independent pieces. And, uh, yeah, I'm totally satisfied because these are sewer babies. Like I said, I only wish that this sewer baby pack came with more of these sewer babies. Because uh, we needed them. Everybody knows that. They probably should have included some of these in the Apocalypse Berg set itself. I mean, that one was so large and expensive. Could have included a couple different ones there. And then, you know, have some additional ones in the Sewer Baby Pack to add to them. So you can have a full crew. But there you go. That's it for the Sewer Baby Pack. Oh yeah, and Harry Sharkira there also comes with the spear. Which is also not a Sewer Baby. All joking aside, I feel like this was an experiment, an exercise by LEGO to figure out or to see just how much stuff that's not that interesting they could put into one of these $13 accessory sets. <laughs> because, I mean, honestly, Emmett is a very easy to get character. He's, he's available in many of the sets. He's been available in many sets before. Uh, he's not a rare character. He's not something that's in a great demand relative to supply. There's plenty of supply out there. I feel like this set did not need to have another Emmett in it unless this was being positioned as a starter set for the Lego Movie 2. You know, for, for folks on a very low budget who wanted to get some Lego Movie 2 related stuff that would you know represent enough of the movie to keep to keep a kid happy. And that's not what this is. This is a pr kind of a premium products you know these these clear packaged uh, pre-built figure packs have always been on the high side of of price in you know, just generally speaking and I mean they include Sharkira you know if it included Emmett and Lucy and Rex let's say or Emmett and Lucy and Batman even or something like that you know that would make sense you know and I think it would be okay to price that a little bit on the high side 
for folks who just want to be able to spend $13 and get some main characters you know that kids would really enjoy sorry for shark shaking the cam for sharking for shaking the camera there for a fraction of a second uh, but as it is Sharkira cool character side character not that important the biggest draw of this set definitely the sewer babies all that car build back here is completely unnecessary uh, if you wanted to have a build in this if you want to have something that can actually shoot for the action feature that's required by, by lego in, in their internal design efforts just make a little tripod for it or a little stump or something maybe put it on top of one of those uh i guess like the, the squared off uh trash cans with a two by two jumper on the top and a hollow stud and then just put the put the <laughs> the crossbow on top of that and then give us another sewer baby or two that's what they should have done for this and Emmett really doesn't belong in this set I don't know it just doesn't make sense to me but I'm glad to have gotten sewer babies regardless in some way and I'm not sad about getting another shark here up Emmett uh, like I said just too easy to get so would have been better if he was someone else anyway that's my look at this not so sewer baby ish sewer baby pack that isn't called the sewer baby pack talk to you again soon